Hey, what's up guys? Well, we're here with another update. A good update, actually. The last time we checked in, I was by myself. And I was just letting everybody know that Brian was still in his recovery process, but you know, at some point, things do change. <laughs> Things change, man. At some point, things do change. Things change, man. And although it's been a long road, we've crossed over. Finally. It took long enough. Yeah. But, you know... <clears throat> so, let everybody told, know. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, truth be told, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, there's only one thing that we can believe in and one thing that we can depend on. And one thing that changes your mind, your personality, your character, everything that uh, an individual may be missing, you know. But when you tap into that light, it's like plugging into something, right? And once you plug into something and you don't waver about any decision making, that sounds rational and good, it's gonna be extremely beneficial to you and your family, you and your spouse, you know. Uh, I would have never thought of coming to a place where no one knows me. Um, and it's, it's kinda, it's, it's kinda, nerve wrecking because you don't know anybody if something were to happen god forbid that you have an emergency you don't have no family all you do is have your spouse and your christian brothers and sisters okay so nobody knows but, 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 what you're but, talking about but, that you're well, in a place me, where nobody knows me, you can i can i explain that well i'm in a place where nobody knows me and i made that decision because i had to leave the belly of the beast, okay? And the belly of the beast, for me, it would be the same thing for everybody else that's not doing the right thing. So I left and... So you made a choice. I made a choice, yeah, I made a choice. And I'll tell you, <clears throat> as lonely as it may seem right now, which I'm really not because I'm, I'm under the presence of God, but either way, you know, tangibly visible and be able to touch and see the appearances uh, feels like I'm alone, but I'm not. I'm actually really happy. <clears throat> happy as I've ever been. Um, you know, and I hope that people do uh, recognize and realize that maybe not everyone, but someone's out there that can help you. We can help you. Get in touch with us, man, because it is possible, you know, overcoming whatever it is, whether it be addiction or, you know, depression, trauma, which trauma is a big, big one, because it changes people like that, you know, like a switch. That's what trauma does to you. Um, I was fortunate enough to continue on to John Hunter Highway. To, to, to meet someone special and, uh, you know, and it wasn't easy. Getting there. So it's been it's been um, since August of 2021. Well, really September of 2021 since since your brain treatment. And yeah, it's it, it did some changes. It definitely did. Some Continue changes. on to John Hunter Someone Highway. It advanced me in wickedness, and it advanced me in goodness. More goodness. Than 
though, because that was it just advanced the uh, what do you call it? The good and the bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the 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 thing you had for to 19 on, miles, which you had continue to straight. On straight was to overcome the bad and to. Well, I did more now. Well, what I didn't think about, what I didn't think about before were consequences. And after the treatment, all I could think about it was consequences. Whereas before the treatment, I wasn't thinking about consequences, you know, and how things change. And how choices are made. Your, the choices you make determine your future, your life. But for the, most, for the most part, this this last, first, one and only last time, I've made my decisions, and they turn out to be pretty good. You know what I mean? <clears throat> A couple of bumps in the road, but, you know, they turn out to be pretty good, man. So. I live a good life now. Are you excited about your future? Absolutely. Do you see things clearer? Do you do you do you have a different mindset? Absolutely, yeah, I have to. Has especially especially with everything that's going on now. So things are looking good. Things are looking good on my end. <laughs> Praise good. the Lord, God is good. good. Again, consequences. I don't, you know, I don't want to lose what I have. I have everything, everything I want. I can drive. I have my license for six years, man. I can drive now. A gold one, too, by the way. That means I can drive a plane. So so Welcome far, to so good. Welcome Madison, Alabama. Huh? So far, so good. All is good in the hood. We're now in Alabama. Alabama crossed over to Alabama from Tennessee. And what are we doing here? We got to be on a, we're on a mission. We we'll sent. Listen, man. Man. You know what we're doing on here? The best thing, the best thing. I mean, for a long time, I didn't think that, you know, but when you truly allow yourself personally to make it your business and your priority to put a smile on someone's face, whether it be feeding them, giving them your cloak, whatever it is, visiting someone in prison, whatever it is, you're doing the will of God, man. And that's what's changing my life, the will of God. So, he's we got not, a miracle happening right before not, everybody's he's eyes. Not, he's not, he's not controlling me, you see. The spirit is guiding me. That's why there's three, like three of us. Mind, body, soul. Spirit. Spirit, that's four. That's four. Four. But, <laughs> you know. Well, what's the three? The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, that's right. And so, he's leading you. He's helping you. Yeah. So God is good. So the whole point is. It is possible. Put your trust in Jesus. Yeah, it is Give possible. Give your life to Jesus. It is possible and God is real, man. He is real because, you know what? I'll be completely honest. Uh, you know, when you grow up with a lot of people that know you and went to school with and, you know, uh, you could get persuaded. You know, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. When you what? I said the spirit is willing. No, yeah, when you, but the, you what about people you grow up? Yeah, with? when you grow up, when you grow up, you're 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 vulnerable and you're kind of like weak to like 
Oh man, I haven't seen you in a long time. Wow. You mean when you're in an yeah. environment where yeah. you're around people that you know yeah. that are not you, the best of Yeah, places. but you That's grew up you with them. But you grew up with them and yeah. you know what I'm saying? You went to school and you have memories with them, maybe in the cafeteria or in the schoolyard. You know what I'm saying? Right. So what do you They're call like, that? Is that like peer pressure? Yeah, yeah, something like that. And then when peer you don't, pressure. And then you're when 49 you don't, years old. Yeah, well, you know what? You Choices. Know what? Choices. There you go, James. Choices. Are you trying to embarrass me? No. All right, well. Choices. I don't care if you're 50 years old. When you when you reminisce about something with someone else, for that, for that, that split second brings you back to that individual. And you lose your sense of responsibility? Exactly. Oh, I see. You see what I'm saying? Choices. Yeah, choices. Consequences. Right. Yeah, sunshine. Everything in life is a choice. And yep. it has a consequence, a good one or a bad one. Either way, you're either going to pay for it or you're going to benefit, benefit from, from it. Exactly. You know? It's like currency. It's like currency. You know, and I, and I, and I got to say this. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen after this to me, but I got to say this. Man, listen, uh, what they're putting on, you know, the... Uh, media and stuff about currency the dollar's not going to be worth anything you know it's going to get worse out there because prophecy is being fulfilled man prophecy is being fulfilled jesus is coming as, back as we're as as we're making this video that's right you know jesus is coming back man there's no like like you know be look like he said, you know, pay attention to the seasons. Look up. Expect him because he's coming back. He, You know, they kept saying, he kept saying, you know, the time is near. The time is literally near. So Jesus. The time is here. Yeah, exactly. Je Jesus, you know, for God, one day is a thousand years. And a thousand years for God is one day. That was 2,000 years ago. That means that was two days ago. Jesus only died. He said the time is there, man. It was only two days ago. So, it's time for everybody to make the right choices. Yep. It's time for everybody to, it's to time figure out, really. Repent, man. This is where the rubber meets the road repent. now. Repent. You know, there is a God. There is a Savior. Brian and I both are living proof that God is real. Because I shouldn't be alive either. He I have is real. My man. own story coming out actually in about a month. Yeah, she got her. You know, for a long time, people have been telling Brian, "Why don't you write a story? Why don't you write a story?" For what? Everybody knows my story. You know what I mean? I've been on TV since I was a teenager, and. Uh, Man, has it been a long one. It's been a long one. Very long story. Very harsh one. One that, uh, you know, it's tough. I wasn't dealt the best deal on the deck. You know what I mean? But black cows' lives matter, and brown cows and white cows' lives matter. Well, let's let's show you. Yeah, we, we was. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Yeah. Why can't I flip the camera? We just camera? passed the cows, but. I don't know why it does that. I can't flip the camera. Are you serious? Yep. Here, we'll just go like this. Yeah. This is where we are. Yeah, yeah that's where we are. Fields, cows. This is like. Uh, Animals. This is like, for some people, for some individuals, man, um, this is the only way that. That, that you can get free from bondage, man. Sometimes Some, you just got to exit. Yeah, sometimes situation. you just got to leave and, and, and just leave, man. You automatically, what happens is you automatically, like when you enter into some place that you know nothing about, how could you possibly, you may be, in the beginning you think like, man, I run into somebody with, with 
that buys alcohol or all that or knows where the liquor store is and even though there's a liquor store everywhere down south to seven ten in but, those corners. But uh in eleven miles, turn left on you know, Mill Road. Like, you know, I'm not from here. I'm not from Alabama, man. I'm from Providence, Rhode Island, man. P Town. Yeah, was no not P Town, but Providence, Rhode Island. I grew up in Chad Brown, I grew up in Southside, I grew up with the Forget About It. You know what I mean? I mean, as you can see, my wife's a Forget About It, you know? And, uh, shh, shh, Louis, shh. We don't talk about that. Well, anyway, that's quite a long update, so we'll keep you guys posted. If but you guys see a sign that says Louis. So far, so good. Lots of changes happening. A whole new life is coming forth as we speak. I'll let you, I'll let you know. Major changes because Brian's brain is better and he's realizing about choices. And I like Louis. Making better choices and really wanting no, you know to what? have a good, happy You know life. what, man? I'm going to have a home, you know, and we'll do more updates. Because life changes, you know. Major changes happening. In 10 miles, outside. turn left onto so Moore's Mill Road. Major changes happening. Well, how did it work I wanted, out? I wanted to squeeze. How did that work out for you? Pretty dang good since we're here doing a 20 minute update. Oh, well, who cares? It's a little long. It is what it is. You either like it or you don't. If you don't like it, get off. But yeah, we're in Alabama. So that's they the were, story. That's the story, Corey. Everything's going great. God is good. And um, thanks for your encouragement and support. And we're fin really. we fin we fixing it. That's how they speak time. We're fixing it. We're fixing it to, to do, do some, some big some, things some, here yeah, in Harvest, fixing. Alabama. We're we fixing it. We're we fixing it. Feed the people's eye. You know, give them food to eat. You know, that's what we fixing it. That's what we fixing. Our whole mission really is to help people, which is why uh, we hope and pray that our story that was seen by a lot of people on Dr. Yeah, Phil yeah. would inspire. And that's why we keep doing these updates. Yeah, because just we, we want to be able to help, help you. If you Things are possible, man. I mean, anything is possible, bro. And that's our whole mission is to, is to get that are just lost and broken and their lives are a mess and out of control and family's a mess and all kinds of just a mess everywhere. We've been through it. I didn't think, you know what's crazy? I didn't think for one, for not a little switch of a thought that life could be so good. I thought that life could be good if I felt a certain way, I gotta feel a certain way so I could be all set. So I'm the so whatever that dependence was, that became my God, and God Himself wasn't my God. Exactly. I spat in His face, man. I I probably spat again, but I spat in His face. I I I didn't care. Everything I knew was out the window. And I truly didn't care. I didn't care about my kids. I didn't care about my my mom, my family, my my stepdad, God bless his soul, my my you know, my sisters, my brothers, my in-laws, nobody. All I cared about was how can I get that drink again and how can I get high again? You know? I need to get high because when I get high, I feel good. Feel good. Uh, for a minute. About two and seconds. And then your world comes crashing down. Yeah. Oh my God, look at my bank account. I got no more money. You I know, got no more nothing. Guess what? I got money every day. I got money every single day. Because I don't spend it. Because uh, my right, yeah, right. What's up, where we going? Straight, babe? Yeah. So, reach out if y'all are yeah, going man. through something. You need some Call help. Us. 
because some encouragement. And you can't lie to us because I'm a hardcore alcoholic, former alcoholic, former addict. So don't call us and be like, yeah, I think we, uh, yeah, we know all those games. You know, you know, I knew when I was lying, and I knew they knew that I was lying. Some people felt bad. Some people did. But Some I feel people stupid. didn't know you were lying. Lots of people didn't know you were lying. But anyway, that's besides the point. So, that's neither message, nor reach there. out, and um, God bless you all. Yeah, God bless Thanks you. Thanks for sticking by us. Thanks for the support, and um, we'll keep you posted. A whole new life is about to be birthed. Yeah, you guys. You heard it here out. the first time. Check it out, yo. Check it out. Bye bye.